Department, Steve with Aptera Owners Club, Gene over at experienceaptera.com. So you can just type in experienceaptera.com. He uh, put in a new model. So he had a bunch of these models. Uh, and I think basically he had this model and this model when I first talked to him and the Hot Wheels model, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, now there's this model, which is new. And it is with the hatch open. Now what he's missing here is we know now that there is a storage compartment underneath here as well. And this is, uh, this is fun. But actually the thing I wanted to check out more is his wireframe model right here. This, this I think is pretty cool. So this, the, of course, these are not official Aptera renders. Uh, so you have to take these with a grain of salt. But I think Gene does a very good job of looking at the information that Aptera is putting out. And, you know, we've seen this aluminum subframe. And uh, he's done a really good job of modeling it. And you can see how it sits. And you, you see how much space there is underneath the battery pack for the cooling area. There's not that much space. So I'm very interested to see if they're still doing the skin cooling or if they're just pulling air uh, from under the cowl down through the body and, and between the battery in here to cool and, and jetting it out the back. That may be what they're doing instead of skin cooling. We'll have to see. Because I wasn't sure based on the material that they were looking, that they were showing down here, whether that was a composite material, which is not that thermally conductive, or if it was aluminum, uh, which it didn't look like. It looked like a composite material. The other thing here is, um, in a lot of Aptera's uh, renders, you see these four battery packs, and this is a guess on how that how they'll be um, placed in here. Now we know the 40 kilowatt hour model has six uh, modules, and I think this could be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that could be the six modules. They look about this shape and size and conformation, um, and I and I don't know. Uh, this is presumably the uh, 60 kilowatt model. You might. Be putting it here. I think Gene is just guessing where how this how the uh, battery packs will be fit into here. But this is, I think, a reasonable guess. And um, you can see like the crumple zones here. Like there's a bar here that to protect you from frontal uh, impacts. And there, this part is the uh, carbon fiber body. And so I think from rear impacts, there's a lot of crumple area before it impinges on the compartment. Uh, the passenger compartment so i think the safety would be quite good uh, one thing we were thinking about is like um, if you did a small frontal offset hit um, crash test you would hit do they base it on the width of the passenger compartment in which case the frontal offset would hit here or do they base it on the total width of the vehicle in which case the frontal offset would hit, hit about here and then it would essentially just shear off the front wheel and make a glancing blow and you would have essentially no damage into the passenger compartment which i think would be would make uh aptera test very well on the uh, small frontal offset test okay anyways go check this out i think it's kind of fun to spin this around and take take a look at it from different angles and it, i think it's a very reasonable um a very reasonable uh render based on the public information that we have Um, I, it would be really cool if uh, Aptera would put out their own 3D models and uh, augmented reality things because obviously they have the models and uh, all the renders are based off of 3D models that they have in a computer. So it wouldn't be too hard for them to release it. And uh, I, I, I hope they do because I think it'd be really fun to play with. But until that happens, I think Gene's website, experienceaptera.com, uh, is the kind of the closest thing we're going to get. And I think it's like good. It's probably like 95% good is my guess. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to our supporting members and have a great day.